side is is preferred though there also are some votes for for escape shift so we'll we'll definitely play shift next um yeah let's keep this on the play lots of lands some interaction it's a little rough versus a creature deck so we're hoping not to play against a creature deck but The next deck I plan on making is Rug Tempo. I already have a good portion of it. And then I'm going to build some sort of aggro deck. I'm not, not certain which one yet, but... Blackmail. No thank you. Yeah, so those are my next next two plan decks try my hand at warriors maybe uh tribal decks aren't really my my jam but we'll see mr pander thanks for thanks for the follow hmm. i'm just gonna take frantic search it's the most powerful of these cards Fire off the probe for life here. We're not under too much pressure. Bloodstained Mire, Caracas, Underworld Dreams. Yeah, so that's that's not too bad. I'm just gonna put the underground sea in play then. Gotta head out. See ya, damp rice. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Five color zoo for the aggro deck. Yeah, that that's maybe a good idea, Rock Lobster. I I like that deck quite a bit. It's lots of fun. Is it Underworld Dreams? Sorry, it's Underworld Connections, not not Underworld Dreams. My mistake. The other Underworld card. Probably the better one, but definitely less less sweet. Although they could cast Underworld Dreams here. So next turn we might use our frantic search to cast this dark petition. Haven't decided yet. So they're down to just two unknown cards. Are there any decks I'm less likely to play on MTGO with the mulligan rules? Um, I don't know. Um, not off the top of my head, but, uh, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm less likely to play decks that are super reliant upon, uh, like finding very specific cards, I suppose, but in, in, if they're not good at finding them, like, High Tide's an example of that type of deck, but it's still good enough at finding High Tide that I find it's uh, still worth playing. So, tough, tough to say. Uh, we're just going to get High Tide here, and then we can probably go off next turn with, with Yagmas Will, provided we don't get uh, discarded. Can't do anything with this three black, unfortunately, but. Thought not storm, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know how many times you could cast thought not zero in a turn reasonably. Probably not that many. Two is probably hard enough. So hoping this is like a planeswalker or something. Yeah, perfect. All right. Certainly not a deterministic win from here, I don't think, but I like our chances. I'm gonna cast Sleight of Hand. I'm gonna take the land, because we haven't hit our land drop yet. I guess we can Yogg Moss Will into a, a land drop, but. I 
Yeah, maybe it was better to Yogmoss will into the land drop because then we could have cast High Tide again first. That was probably better. Let's get our graveyard out here. Alright. Let's cast us a frantic search. Discard two. Negate and Sculling Tarn. Um, guess we'll cast Gitaxian Probe next. Palancron that is, so that's that's all the mana we need. And then we can tendrils eventually with the Dark Petition. So this is just a win. Awesome, they, they conceded right away. That was nice of them. They didn't have to. Yeah, we we did. We do just win from that point. Palancron was able to generate us all the blue and black mana we needed and all the storm we needed. And then from there we were we could have used the dark petition in our graveyard with the uh, thanks to Yogmas will to go find tendrils. This hand I kept immediately, and it's just amazing. It has high tide, an untapper, a counter spell, some card draw, now an interaction spell. So it's got it all. It's a little weak against this deck because discarding our our high tide is kind of annoying. But I'm gonna play this island, not expose a a black source yet. Which art is so weird, Tregolin? Hmm, I wonder if they meant to float that mana or not. Dark Ritual. Roro. Bob Nixilis. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce that. Oh, Palancron. Yeah, the art is very weird. We might get MTGO art for it at some point. It's in a bunch of the cubes, isn't it? Uh, since we have Logic Knot, I'm gonna cast uh, Serum Visions here. And I'm gonna top, I don't actually know if we want Spellseeker right now, which is odd. I probably do. Hmm, what's my plan? I'll top top and I have the option to fetch if I uh if I need to. Although now I don't really want to fetch. I always forget to fetch before I cast the Arm Visions. Too used to preordain and ponder. They do nothing here, that's nice. Lovely. So now if I want the spell seeker, I can Supreme Will to counter their Obnixilis, assuming they have a, a land drop. I can't also just let Obnixilis resolve. It's not the the biggest problem. They don't have a land. So I think I'm just going to Supreme Will for a card. I'll take Spellseeker over a land, I suppose. I'll fetch, because some of those cards were good. Get Fetid Pools. We're like one good card away from going off here. All right, I'm just going to pass and plan to Factor Fiction and try to find one more untapper or a, a nice card draw spell. And then go off from there. I could have Spell Secret for DT, but I'm not sure that's good enough. Hmm. This is somewhat exciting. Lands are actually pretty valuable for us here, so I'm definitely... Hmm. 
This pile is actually closer. Um, what do we have in the bin? I think I'm actually just going to take this pile. Yog muscle wasn't too amazing there. Underground Sea is a pretty nice one. Can we win from this point? High Tide, Snapcaster Tide, Cloud of Fairies. Hmm. I think I'm going to wait one more turn. Mostly because I think I can. Yeah, we we can snap Yagul if we want to, but I don't even I don't even think we're gonna need to do that. I'm just gonna set up here. I'm just gonna spell seeker for demonic tutor and then uh odd their victim of knighting the spell seeker. Gotta think Jace is the the higher value higher value thing. Discarding Giga Drows. Already have our land drop for next turn, which is great. Necromancy. Probably planning to Necromancy the Spell Seeker. To go get a discard spell. There's no uncounterable discard. Yeah, I'm just going to let this resolve. Make sure they, they tap out. There's an argument for discountering the Necromancy because I'm not. I, I might be missing something. But I have to imagine they're just getting like a duress or a thought seize. In which case we can just forcible that pitching the, the logic knot. Is there a card on the watch list that I'm on a soapbox about whether to go up or down? Uh, does that mean on the fence, whether it's going up or down? Uh, yeah, Cabal Therapy would have been a, a reason to counter the Necromancy, maybe. that That's a good point there, Paranondrox. I did not consider that. Surge doesn't say Fast Bond to zero anymore. All right, so I think we just have this one. I guess not, not quite just have, but uh, we're looking good to say the least. Then we flash back our Yog Will and Oh boy. We're cooking. Yeah, got this one. That was just a rough match for 